Hello and welcome to Home Science Lessons with Mr. Mac. Lesson one, particle models and density. We're starting a new topic today. So just to run you through how things work, if you could put away your phone or shut any windows on your computer, which you think might be a distraction, get a pen and paper handy. You may already have printed out the slop activity um, from Show My Homework, but you don't have to. You can easily look at it on this slide and write your answers down. So are we ready to go then? So these lessons will take the following structure. Uh, we'll have some retrieval practice to start with from some old science knowledge that you've learned um, either last year or earlier in the year. There'll be some teacher instruction and demo under the camera from me. Um, we'll embed and drill on the knowledge and then you'll have an opportunity to practice near the end. So here's our first slide today. Get your pen and paper, have a go please. Uh, pause the video and I'll reveal the answers in a few seconds. Go. Okay, here's the answers for slide one on acids and alkalis. If you didn't get any of them, please um, get yourself testing book and have a little look and familiarize yourselves with that section. Slide two, retrieval practice. So this is on health and infection. Pause the video and have a go now, please. Here are the answers to slide two. Again, revise any things that you got incorrect or that you couldn't remember. Third and final slide of retrieval practice on um, cells, cell transport or organ systems. And here are the answers. Okay, now we've done a retrieval practice. We're gonna go on to some new knowledge on the particle model. Some of this you may be familiar with before, other parts maybe not. So we're gonna do a little bit of modeling, and have a look under the camera at some knowledge on particles. So I've made this nice and big for you so it's easy to see. So a solid, what are the arrangement of particles like in a solid? In a solid, they are fixed and regular. So if we could draw it, it would look a bit like this. All right, fixed and nice regular rows. Forces of attraction are strong between the particles. And in terms of movement and speed, they vibrate around fixed positions. What about a liquid then? Well, a liquid, particles are still close together and touching, but they um, are no longer in that regular shape. So we call that irregular. The forces of attraction are weaker. Weaker than in a solid. And the particles move with a random slow speed. and can move over each other. So that's solid and liquid. Now onto a gas. So the particles aren't necessarily touching at all. They can be spread out, moving at high speeds. So in a range of the particles, we say they travel in random directions. And forces of attraction are almost none or very weak. What about their movement and speed? 
They are free to move at high speed. So the particles we can say have a lot of kinetic energy, more than in a solid or liquid. Okay, I've got some more information for you about the properties of these things. So what are the properties of the particles in a solid? So that means how do they behave? So they cannot be compressed and cannot take the shape of the container. What are the properties of the particles in a liquid? They cannot be compressed, but can take the shape of the container. And then lastly, what are the properties of the particles in a gas? They can be compressed and can take the shape of the container. So you might want to freeze the video now and take a few notes. You may have wanted to take a few notes on the previous part now as well, because next we're going to have a go at embedding this information. And how we do that is something I call drill, drill, drill. Drill is thrill. So what does that mean? Drill, drill, drill means that you read over the notes that you've just made and then you cover them and then you write down what you can remember and then you check if you've got it right. So look, cover, write, check. Or it can, it can also mean you get someone at home to test you on the notes that you just written. So maybe hand them the notes and they can ask you a few questions on them. And that's how that works. So I would pause the video and spend some time, maybe 10 minutes, drilling on that new information. We've got another new piece of information coming up next, which is on density and a little worked example to help you calculate density. So let's have a little look at that then. So what is meant by the term density? Density is the amount of matter in a volume. So what does that really mean? It refers to how tightly the particles are packed into a certain size of space, really, certain volume. What's the equation for density? Density equals mass divided by volume. And it's important that we know the units for measuring this. Um, density, kilograms per meters cubed, mass in kilograms or kgs, and volume in meters cubed. So if we know those things, we can calculate the density, which brings us on to this little worked example. 
calculate the density of a block of metal with a mass of 1.2 kilograms and a volume of 0.3 meters cubed. So we write down our equation. So we can either, we can write density equals mass divided by volume, or to make things more straightforward from a modeling point of view, we can write mass <clears throat> equals density times volume. And then we can play about with those things. Now, if we insert the numbers, whichever way we do it, say we'll choose the top way, mass, it's going to be 1.2 kilograms. Volume, 0.3 meters cubed equals density. So if we plug those figures into our calculator, 1.2 divided by 0.3 gives us a density of four. So density equals four kilograms per meter cubed. Then we've got another example here. So again, we've got density equals mass divided by volume, or we could rearrange this, particularly for this question, it might be better to, to put it this way around. We're simply rearranging the equation. Mass equals density times volume. So if we know, then we can put in our figures. If we know that the volume is 4570. We can put that in there. If we know that the density is 5323 kilograms per meters cubed, then we simply just need to times those numbers. 5323 times 4570. And that gives us quite a large number. 243 26110 kilograms. All right, so there's um, there's a little example of how to work out mass or how to work out density. So you might want to take a pause the screen at this moment and write some of this down, because in a moment you're going to embed it. So now that you've had a chance to write that down, and hopefully you've had a chance to drill, drill, drill in that new information and get tested on it, look, cover, right, check, and practice it. I've now got some example questions where you can have a go at applying your knowledge to see how well you understand the new information. And we'll be revealing the answers for that next time. So this slot task is attached to show my homework, or you can just write down your answers from what you see on the screen. So there's our first page. Pause and have a go. And then there's our second page. Again, pause and have a go. There's some questions there where you need to calculate density and some where you need to calculate mass. The answers will be revealed next lesson. So next lesson is about changes of state and physical changes. And we're also going to include some information there about how to calculate the density of regular and irregular objects. So until then, do a little bit more 
retrieval practice and self-testing on today's notes. Complete the slot task that was on the previous slides, or you may have printed this off. Share the video with your buddies in your year group or any other friends that you've got that want to improve their science learning. And look out for the recall test at the end of the week on this. So thank you for working hard. Thank you for having to go to the slop activities, listening carefully and making your notes. I really do appreciate the hard work that you're doing at home. So see you soon and goodbye. Goodbye.